Hello students, welcome back to Excel Academy's YouTube channel. As all of you are aware, uh, the e-bulletin of ICSI is released every month. In this video, we are discussing the sample questions related to economics and business environment. Questions related in the July month's e-bulletin. Let's start with the first question. No change in consumer preference is the assumption of which of the following laws? So here uh, it is applicable to the law of demand because uh, law of demand keeps everything constant. It is called ceteris paribus and we discuss the relationship between price and demand only. Second question, from the following information, compute price elasticity of demand. Now the data is uh, given to us. It says that original quantity was 20 units and uh, or change in quantity is 10 units. Now let us remember the formula to calculate elasticity of price. The formula is uh, percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. So if you look at this, it says that it was 20 and uh, now it has become 10. So the change is 50 percent divided by original price was rupees 50 and now it has become 40. So it is 40 percent. So let us take 40 in the denominator. So what happens now? 0, 0 will get cancelled. 4 ones are 4, 1.25 times. So the answer for this question would be 1.25, that is option D. From the following information, calculate GDP at market price. Now GDP at factor price is, factor cost is given as uh, 200 crores. Indirect tax is given as 50 and uh, subsidies is given as 20. So what we do here is, uh, let us take uh, 200 crores plus the 50 crores that is the indirect tax minus the subsidy which is 20. So it becomes 250 minus 20 so it would be 230 crores. So the answer for this would be 3b. Right, let us proceed ahead. Question number 4. All revenues raised by government, money borrowed and receipts from loans given by the government flow into DASH account. It flows into the Consolidated Fund of India. Fifth question. The proposals of government for levying of new taxes, modification of existing tax structure or uh, continuance of existing tax structure beyond the period approved by parliament are submitted to parliament through. Anything related to taxation is always pre presented to the parliament through the finance bill. The sole national reinsurer company in India is, answer is GIC but everything is GIC here. So the answer for this is General Insurance Corporation which is option C. A or N dash is a company which is a finance institution carrying on its principal business of financing of financial assets supporting productivity or economic activity such as automobiles, tractors, lathe machines, generator sets, earth moving and uh, material handling equipments moving on own power and general purpose industrial machines. The answer for this is asset finance company. It comes under the NBFC uh, part of the financial structure chapter. I think it is uh, chapter number four in the economics and uh, business uh, environment syllabus. Question number eight, which of the following policies of government of India aims to position India as must see destination for global travelers? This is definitely related to tourism. So the answer for this would be national tourism policy of 2015. Question number nine, Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Kendra is the initiative of which of the following ministries of government of India? Uh, Kushalata, Kaushal, all these things will uh, roughly get translated to English as skill. So the answer for this is Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, option C. The last question in the series, the e-form agile is related to option number A, that is application of registration of goods and services tax identification number. So these were the 10 questions which featured in the July month's e-bulletin of ICSI. If you have any questions or doubts that you want to get uh, cleared, Please leave your doubts or questions in the, in the comment section and we shall get back to you with right answer. Thank you very much.